What's up scale modelers and siren enthusiasts? Welcome back to another video. It's your host Ray. Today's video is a different one for sure. This will be more of a first impression video of the new, well relatively, actually not relatively new, but the latest release of a Ralph Redcliffe model's HO scale siren. And this is the SD10. This model was actually a surprise to me and I expressed relatively little interest to it. However, I, I decided recently that I should just get one of these just to see what it's like and because it would be nice to have one of these sirens. So I'd like to unbox it with you guys and go over the parts and um, I'd like you guys to hear my reaction about what I think of the kit so far before I build it. And after I build it and mount it and everything, I will do a model review on how the build process went and everything. So um, just hang tight for that. That will take a while, so that won't be coming for next few weeks at least depending on how uh crazy my school life and job life get and swim life so uh, without further ado let's begin so this is what the kit looks like it looks pretty interesting i really like the just bright yellow uh, sd10 sitting here on the um instruction page cover it looks cool um it even has the picture of the parts inventory here so that's nice so you can see there's a total of six pieces in this kit uh, let's open it up and have a look at them This, I think, is actually my second time building... Uh, this is actually the first time I built something other than a HO scale Thunderbolt Siren kit or any from Ralph and Clifford models. I did build the Model 2 and Model 5 a while ago. So before I discuss the parts, I'd like to talk about the instructions. So here's just the cover, uh, the front cover and, and the back cover of the instructions. Really cool how they're in color. I like the green background here. And here's just some context. I thank you and a pretty nicely done instruction set on how to build the model. Um, I really like the way that the diagram is like 3D modeled here. It looks pretty cool. And I think this would help for someone who isn't familiar with uh, this type of siren. So we have a rather crazy assortment of parts here. We have a wooden utility pole, which is quite thin actually. The overall diameter of these utility poles, excuse me, that have been included in these kits Sorry for the interruption. I It's not a good idea to eat a lot of food before making videos. Anyway, the diameter of these poles has decreased significantly, so the, that was kind of a nasty surprise. I might have to buy my own. I'm just trying to test the fit here. Uh, but yeah, let's go over the parts. So here is the lower shroud. Uh, looks very nicely made. I don't see any flash. Should be relatively simple to uh, attach to the rest of the siren. This is the chopper cover and projector assembly, I guess. I'm not exactly what it, what exactly, I'm not exactly sure what this is called precisely, but it looks interesting. It appears as though the quality of this is very good. You can kind of see some extra flash on here. Uh, and understandably so, this is a very delicate and precise part and there should be a lot of flash on this. So I expected this. You can actually see the little dents here on the side where the, uh, smaller rings from the shroud go into so that's something i really appreciate i never noticed it here's the upper shroud or upper or yeah just we'll just call it the housing or shroud from now you can see an installation hook here which is a really cool detail uh, i think this was included on the default model on the default sirens when they were sold from the factory so that's a nice detail um the little ring i was talking about earlier and the attachment point all of it looks like it would fit together pretty well. I haven't test fitted it, and I won't test fit it until I clear all the flash. So, uh, that, this looks a little bit uh, not pleasant. This is the intake and support structure assembly. There's a lot of what appears to be thick flash, and you can hear me breaking it. Uh, a lot of thick flash here, so I'm going to have to remove that with my hobby knife. Shouldn't be too difficult, but just I need I know I'm going to need to be careful with this. And you guys should be careful too if you have a kit already and you're building it. Control box is obviously your standard control box. Nothing too special about it. So that basically concludes the, I guess, unboxing and reaction to the model kit. Uh, this seems like something I'm going to enjoy. I'm looking, I'm very much looking forward to building this. I believe this is the first time this Siren Kit has been posted to YouTube. If I haven't looked for sure, but I haven't seen many videos of it or any videos of this. So if I'm the first one, cool. If I'm not, cooler. I'd like to see some other people, uh, other people's videos and uh, see what they've experienced with, while building this. That's basically it. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop those down below in the comments. 
and stay tuned or don't exactly stay tuned because this will this will take a very long time uh, for when I finish building this and when I get my computer back so I can edit videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.